I was wondering if we would have the opportunity to do this again during the summer, given the fact that it's getting really warm out there, but uh, it turns out the Irish Quiz Master chose the right time to decide to give me a call so that we could do another round before it starts to get really hot out there. So, greetings people of the world, Matthew back with you here in Novora Autism for another edition of Quizzing with our friend Adam from Ireland, and so, hello there Adam. Hello, Matthew. It is Ashley Long here, continuing this lifelong journey to the life of the part of the question. What would be a sweet slang for a Teletubby? Yeah, well, he, he yeah, he actually asked this beforehand before we got started. Do you have the answer for me? Uh, well, I don't know. It's pretty much up to anyone's imagination. It's just one of those random things I like to sarcastically ponder. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright there, Adam. So, yes, you've come to oblige me with another set of trivia quizzing, so yeah. what do you say we get started? Yep, yeah, it's six more from the category quiz. Mm -hmm. and, th and this week we have history, science, religion, entertainment, sports, and your personal favorite, geography. <laughs> oh, nice. I like that. Yes. You were telling me before that you like geography and oh, yeah. travel, mm -hmm. so I thought I'd add that in. Perfect. So which one would you like to start with this time? Well, why don't we just go from left to right? Alright, and that makes histories first. Alright, and here's your first question for 100. The Aztecs were natives of which country? Mexico, Colombia, Bolivia, or Peru? Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> oh, you've added something new. I like that. Now we added some sound effects. Which means you got that answer right. Would you like to go vertically or horizontally? Um, ju just keep going. Uh, let's just keep going to the same category as All much right, as we can go. Three. Here's the next question. What became of Marie Antoinette on the 16th of October, 1793? She was deported. She was divorced. She was pardoned. She was beheaded. She was beheaded. After saying, "Let them eat cake." I remember that very vividly. French Revolution, one of the biggest mm -hmm. casualties. Oh, yes. He was Austrian. In which year did Japan attack the United States leading to American entry into World War II? 1941. 1935? 1956? 1918? 1941. Pearl Harbor? Pearl Harbor, yeah. Three out of five so far. Yeah. Thanks, Michael Bay. <laughs> Number four. But actually, I knew that before Michael Bay released that movie. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I know this um, may seem a bit of a repetition, but which year was Marie Antoinette executed? 1787, 1790, 1793, 1796. Well, you said 1793, so let's go with that. It's a shame I... It's a shame that you can't skip a question like that. Well, but you can switch one, but you have to give me an answer anyway. Mm hmm And here's the last one for history. Who was the Argentinian president during the 1982 Falklands War? Who was the Argentinian president during the Falklands War? Roberto Viola. Raul Alfonso. Leopoldo Galateri. Or Reynaldo Bignon. I'm sorry, my foreign pronunciation is ridiculous. Yeah, and well, I was expecting I was expecting you to say something before the Falklands War because I'm familiar with Juan Perón because he's the only Argentine president I know. And yeah, I, I was still a baby when the Falklands War was going on, and I really don't know much about it other than that Great Britain and Argentina were at war over it. Uh, I, I pretty much have to guess with this one. Um, I, th I think I will swip it, switch this question out. Alright, I'll check that for you in a moment. Here's the new question. Which country gave the colon American colonies support against the British? Austria, France, Spain, Italy. It was France. They supported them in the Revolutionary War. Pardon? 
Well, fans have cracked down to one, and it was Louis, King Louis the Seventeenth at the time, wasn't it? I think so, yeah. Because it, it was during the American Revolution. Let me just let me just check who was the president of the Falkland Wars. Because uh, you skipped that one. Argentina? During the Falkland Wars. It's Leopoldo Gialtieri. Okay. Who thought he was president there? Alright. I, I would not have known that. No. Okay. Anyway, that's history cleared. All five questions correct. That's maximum point sixteen hundred. Then when that means we now move next door to science. Alright. The first one. Which of these is not a primary colour? Green, red, yellow, blue. It's yellow. A primary colour? That's right. Yeah, yellow's a secondary colour. Yeah, TVs go by the RG TVs and computer screens go by the RGB color scheme, and all colors are created from any combination of those three. So the correct answer is yellow. No, the correct answer is green. The primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. Primary color is a color that cannot be made from any of those three. Okay, I don't, I don't know how I could have gotten that wrong, because I, 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 all, I all I know is the, R, is the RGB color scheme is that all colors cannot be made from any of those three. And it's used for, for making TV monitors and computer monitors and stuff like that. I'm sure everyone from the art world, if they ever meet you, will probably, I don't know, color you in green and turn you into the Hulk. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Let's move on. Yeah, religion. According to the Bible, how many apostles did Christ have? He had 12. And that is the correct answer. Whew. I don't. Do you think that your mother will ever let you live down your um, full power with art and science? Um, she she probably didn't know either. Oh. All right. You can ask her about it yourself later. <laughs> Thanks. Anyway, in the Bible, who was found in a basket amongst the bulrushes? Moses. Oh, Moses is an option. I accept that straight away. And that is the correct answer. Thank you. I'm nervous for you now. Uh, what differentiates Eucharist, Lord's Supper, and Holy Communion? Nothing, all the same sacrament, given by different levels of priest, given at different times of year, or given at different times of day. Well, it's, well, given what I've learned, it's for me, it's all the same. So I'll go with option A. Mm-hmm. Here's the next question. What is the fifth book of the Pentateuch? Pentateuch. That's P-E-N-T-A-T-E-U-C-H. The fifth book. Numbers. Deuteronomy. Exodus. Genesis. I'm going to go with numbers because Genesis is one, Exodus is two, and Deuteronomy is four. It's Deuteronomy, then Numbers. But you said the fifth, right? You said the fifth book, right? Uh, I'll play back and I'll clarify for you in the comments. Okay, because yeah, you said <coughs> you said the fifth book. Yeah. I'll play it back and I'll clarify for you in the comments. All right. No, but. All presenters can make full pass at some point, mm -hmm. and I hope I'm no exception. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're on to entertainment next. Do you watch Baywatch? Um, I did, yes. 
Okay, well, who played Mitch Buchanan in Baywatch? Buchanan. The last name was Buchanan, it was played by David Hasselhoff. Yes, thank you for clarifying the pronunciation, because I don't really, I don't really watch shows like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's a Scottish name, and you live in Ireland, I would figure that that's sort of a pronunciation that would at least be something you would know. Scots Gaelic and Irish Gaelic are two different types of Gaelic altogether, I can say that. Okay. Uh, next one is our first picture question. Um, can you identify the TV show that these two ladies come from? Oh, uh, I do not even recognize them. I have no idea who these two people are. Alright, I'll give you some options. I do. Are they from Downtown Abbey, Rack and Susan, Gilmore Girls, Falcon Crest? Okay. Yeah, I still wouldn't know who those two are because those shows are not shows I am familiar with. I still have a switch question option, don't I? Or have I already used mine up? You already because you didn't know who was present during that conference war. Okay, and someone stuck with it. Uh, I'm going to go strictly based on um, how the two look like. Um, what, what were the options again? Just one last time. Downtown Abbey, Rack and Sushan, Gilmore Girls, Falcon Crest. Okay, based on what I saw, um, with the woman on the left, she had the big hair and her, um, she was wearing a shirt, but it was, um, she had a couple of buns off the top. Based on what I know about um, fashion trends at the time, I'm going to guess that that is from Falcon Crest. That's my choice. My, my head's thinking it's Gilmore Girls, but it's quite split. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because, yeah, Gilmore Girls was from the 90s. Fucking Quest was the 80s. And my kitty cat wants to come in, so I'll let her in. <laughs> Can we at least find out what the correct, if it was right or not? Uh, you said Falcon Crest? Yeah. And I said Gilmore Girls. And my head was right. It is Gilmore Girls, I'm afraid. Okay. Yeah, I didn't recognize those two at all, and I've never seen that show. I've never yeah, seen any of those shows. Cats. What's its name? It's Daisy. Daisy, huh? Oh my god, it definitely is a nice little kitty. Does it? Sh does she shed a lot? She normally molts in the summer and grows a fur coat for the winter. Alright. Um, enough about the cats. Uh, yeah, we should move on before stuff. my battery runs out. <laughs> yeah, two characters that have sports and geography, let's move on. Uh, another uh, sports next, another picture question, which NFL team is this? The Miami Dolphins. That's an option, I accept that straight away. And it is the correct answer. Mm -hmm. Next question. In which fielding position did baseball legend Do Joe DiMaggio specialize? Shortstop, second baseman, catcher, center outfielder. Wow. I know it's between one of two. Yogi Berra was the catcher. Mickey Mantle was in center field. Who was that? Who was that second base? Who was the shortstop? Yeah, Yogi Berra was the catcher. Mickey Mantle was the center fielder. I'm gonna say second base. It's shortstop. No, the correct answer is center outfielder. What? I was Mickey Mantle's <laughs> position. You must be confusing it with someone else. I don't know. Oh, th um, th this, seri this series has had some really confusing questions. Well, easy come, easy go. Mm-hmm. Um, let's move on to geography now before your camera drains. <laughs> right. Uh, which ocean is the largest in the world? Pacific. Atlantic. It's oh, the Pacific. Pacific. I said that straight away. And that is the correct answer. Geography. Oh, 
It's a national flag. Which country is this? Saudi Arabia. That is an option. I accept that straight away. And now the correct answer. Next one. The anti Atlas Mountains are found in which country? Uganda, Egypt, Libya, Morocco. The anti Atlas Mountains? Like, I know the Atlas Mountains are in Morocco, but the anti Atlas Mountains? That's their name, apparently. Maybe, maybe that's another name for them. I'll, I'll answer Morocco. Because I know that the Atlas Mountains are in Morocco. That is the correct answer. So it is another name for them. To that next question. Oh. Which city in Europe is marked on this map? Oh, whoa. Okay. It's going a little... It's right in that um, weird area that could ha be either Vienna or Prague or Budapest. Uh, if it was a little lower, it could even be Zagreb. Uh, what What are the giving us options? Just so I can give myself an idea. Is it Gior, Budapest, Sopron, Bratislava? Oh, but Bratis yeah, Bratislava is also an option over in that area. Yeah, that, that's where that, that is a weird spot on the map there. And it's a shame I can't see the borders on the, your phone there. It's a, sh it's a shame that I can't make those out. That they don't show up on the camera. You can get rid of two if it helps. No, let's do that, please. Okay. Uh, Budapest or Sopron? Then we'll go with Budapest. Budapest? Okay. Last question. Okay. Lake Nyasa boards, borders Mozambique, Tanzania, and which other country? Malawi, Kenya, Uganda, or the Democratic Republic of Congo? It's Malawi. It's the only other country that shares a border with those two countries. <laughs> I'm glad at least got that right. At least there were no confusing questions. Nope, and that's the end of that for it. You've won 4,100 points so far. Alright. Now, of course, there is one little discrepancy from religion that I need to play back and clarify with you. Yeah. Um, I'll, draw a, I'll draw a comment on that later, but I still have seen it after it. Alright. There you are. And there it is. So, you can make your sign off now. Alright, so yeah, th thank you very much, Adam, for coming on before the weather gets too hot out there that we couldn't do this. Because, yeah, he, Adam had offered to do this a few weeks ago, but it was like over 30 degrees already by the time he wanted, <coughs> he wanted to offer, and so I had to turn him down. But this week we had the opportunity to come in at the right time so we could do that. Oh, before I go, um, Adam... I know that you're really big into football. What's your take on the Euro right now and how that's going before I let you go? I'm more interested in what's happening off the field than on the field. Like what? But I will say this. I'm glad I'm not in the middle of that. Yeah, no, no one would want to put up with that England-Russia riot. Yeah, that you would not want you would not want to have been in the middle of that. There's still a couple of days of those of Russia and England being in the same country, so who knows what might happen between them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but okay. So that thanks very much, Adam, for um, doing another round of quizzing for me, and I'll ho hopefully we'll be able to do this again sooner rather than later, and hopefully in a time when it is still nice and cool out there. So. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. And on behalf of my good friend, the quiz master from Ireland, Adam, this is Matthew and Novor Autism saying take care, and I'll see you soon.